So let's print something new. And as always, when we hit print, the first thing that we do, we heat up the bed. Let's see. We are heating the bed to 60 degrees. Okay, and after the bed is uh, at 60 degrees, we will start the homing sequence. <coughs> The nozzle LEDs, they are acting like a status to know what we are doing. Now we are in the homing sequence. <coughs> After the homing sequence, we will start the QGL. The bed was already preheated at uh, 65 degrees, uh, at uh, 55 degrees, to so don't waste uh, time on this video. This is why it uh, heat up that fast. Because we are printing uh, PLA and uh, we are printing at 60 degrees. We can see how beautiful the nozzle LEDs are lighting up the printing space <coughs> after the QGL we'll uh, make uh, an adaptive uh, mesh on the portion of the bed when we will uh, print uh, it's a small uh, print it's a first layer calibration as I like to call it and uh, after the bed mesh um, we will uh, preheat the nozzle at the printing temperature. So, first we start with heating up the bed. After heating up the bed, we are making the homing sequence, QGL, um, the bed mesh, and after that, we are uh, heating up the nozzle. And uh, in all this time, the uh, bed it's uh, at the printing temperature as you may know we published the files for this toolhead xenomorph and uh, in this uh, video here we are uh, having the Xenomorph, uh, the long version. And now we are starting the heating session for the nozzle. The nozzle is ready, they are turned to red. You can program this at whatever color you want. And after uh, heating up the nozzle, we will uh, make an adaptive purge. And uh, we are starting the print. Okay. We are at 160 degrees. The GNOME is giving us a lot of uh, useful information, and also we can, uh, because this is the GNOME V2, we can make a lot of uh, okay. We can make a lot of uh, adjustments straight from the display.
we are waiting the temperature to go down we have uh, four degrees overshoot this is PLA a wet PLA it Now we are purging and after the adaptive purge that is in close to the print unfortunately we lost the footage and uh, see you in the next video when we will show you how to assemble the xenomorph thank you bye